Court is calling 2024 CR 1174 State of Texas versus Albert A. Bishop. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Jason Garrett, annual defense. Charles Gold for Mr. Bishop. And are you Mr. Bishop? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, have you received all of the discovery and did you review it with your client? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Mr. Bishop, I'm showing you what's entitled application for community supervision or deferred adjudication. Did you review that with your attorney? Yes, did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. Did you review the document entitled uh, True Bill of Indictment with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, do you waive the reading of the indictment? Yes, Your Honor. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Bishop, I'm showing you what's entitled court admonishments and defendants waivers and affidavit of admonitions. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you're charged with the offense of stalking? That's a third degree felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from two to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Yes, ma'am. If you have a plea with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, yes, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that? To, I'm sorry. Did you understand by entering this plea you were giving up those rights? Uh, yes, ma'am. And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication? If for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could fine you guilty, sentence you up to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? He has, Your Honor. Do you believe he has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against him? I think he does. Do you believe he's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Bishop, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter the plea? No, ma'am. Anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, ma'am. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? I believe so. Well, I mean, either you are or you're not. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. <laughs> are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived his right to jury trial, showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. According to the plea, there's a $1,500 fine. State recommends deferred adjudication. They're taking in consideration 727710. There's to be no contact with Trisha Robles, and you're not to be within 500 feet of Trisha Robles. And you're not to go to McDonald's at 101 Alamo Plaza and be within a within fifth, I'm sorry, 500 feet of that location. Yes, ma'am. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, ma'am. Defense? It is, Your Honor. State? Next, I'm showing you outside the agreement. The state is requesting that your community supervision be for a term of seven years. There be a TAP evaluation, 200 hours of community service restitution, and no contact with Trisha Robles or McDonald's at 101 Alamo Plaza. Did you understand those were recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, ma'am. Then to the offenses charge, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State, any evidence? Yes, Your Honor. State exempt from war with all these attachments. No objections, Your Honor. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and review the same. All right, after reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will defer finding of guilt as you've applied for deferred adjudication. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. I would like to address the court about the, the fine. Yes. He's homeless. We would ask that you probate the fine, uh, all the, the fine. Uh, until he gets a job or gets set up. We would ask that, since he's been homeless. All right. Why are you homeless? Just doing uh, things for my community, the homeless community, being an activist and preventing. No, 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 no. Why don't you have a place to stay? I guess for people's sake that I don't like being a burden to anybody. No, I mean, if you get a job. I, I know. Now, here's the, here's I, the thing. Listen. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. If you get employment and get an apartment and pay the monthly fee for the apartment, guess what? You're not a burden. It's a business transaction. 
So why are you not engaging in business transactions for a place to live? I have no excuses to give you. I'm just, I'm in the process of getting that together. So why are you homeless? Like when does it start? Have you always been homeless? Your yeah, point of beginning to now, uh, I said about, I've been homeless for about three years. Okay, so what were you doing before you became homeless? Uh, couch surfing. All right, so why don't you have a place to stay? I still don't understand why you're homeless. I have no excuses to give you, and I present them to you. And I'll get now. I do have a reason, a, a, pur a purpose to stay off probation to pay for myself, for many mean invest in myself. Okay, counsel, stay. do you know why he's homeless? I mean, sometimes people are homeless because they start using drugs and people are just done and they say. I, I think during the time, Judge, no, not necessarily. I've been sober for about going on my 13th year. I've never done heroin. I'm, don't, I probably smoke weed for my anxiety because uh, I do have bad anxiety. A drug problem. I'm too poor to have a drug problem. <laughs> not to not to make not to make fun of anything. Yeah. I just don't have the money to invest into a drug. So I I'm trying to figure out how can he do well on probation? What is his plan? To get myself on, on the ball for probation. But and how are you going to do that? Getting a job. Uh, even means for right now, getting paid on, you know. Didn't you say something about Haven for Hope? Yeah, Haven for Hope or the the means to an end to get a job. I mean, that should be easy. A right, so purpose? Well, I had no purpose. I had no 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 family to speak of, no kids to speak of, nobody to take care of. And when it comes to investing myself, well, now I have a reason. So if you give me a, I mean, a, a chance, of course I'm going to do what's right. I always do what's right. All right, so here's the thing. No less than two times, this person at McDonald's said that you've been bothering her and she doesn't want you there anymore. Is GPS appropriate in this case? I don't know about that, Judge. I think there was it this followed at large and there was nothing going on at the time. No, I really get when you every time she says the name, I really can't picture who that person she's kicking. Well, it's the person where you keep going to McDonald's at 101 Alamo Plaza. She said you were trespassing. She didn't want you there. And it says victim advised that the same patterns of malicious behaviors were directed, directed towards victim by suspect. That's you. Yes, They're saying that you would criminally trespass from the restaurant and would typically direct these gestures at her through a lar large store front window from the sidewalk. These behaviors occur several times a month and cause her to feel unsafe and anxiety. And then that was in August. And you also have the one from October. So I think he needs to be on GPS. I've, How old are you? Twenty. I'm, 50, I'm about to be fifty-two, man. Yes. If I really don't need to be on GPS because I really don't have nothing bad against her. She's a manager at McDonald's. Like maybe I flick somebody off through the window that was in there, but really, all I, right. See, why are you telling me that she's the manager at McDonald's and you just well, told counsel you don't even know who she is? Well, I re not. I don't know who she is personally to say, but I know after speaking to her, when she gave me, well, yeah, she's the, the, the one of the managers at McDonald's. Judge, I just think that. I mean, we can delve into this, but I think that he's homeless, and I think I'm I'm, I'm asking about the fine, and if we can waive that, and I don't think how he's going to pay for GPS. I, I think that can graduate if we need that later on. But there's been times when has it? I, I say he's going to be watched over for a while. He needs GPS. I mean, I understand the situation that people are homeless. I do. But that doesn't give everybody a pass to do whatever they want to do. Can you, can you give me a chance to prove myself before you put me on monitor? No. But then don't I need a piece of uh, residence for a monitor? Uh, what I'll do is we'll see if the fees can be waived, but you need to be on GPS monitor. And we can't do a, a wait and see if you're going to do well or not. Because if you're back at that McDonald's, I want to know about it. Okay. And the only way to know about that, because you say you're homeless, is for a GPS. So, so and do G not cut off this monitor. You understand? Yeah. So the GPS is just to see if I'm in the area of the place? Yes. What type of GPS do y'all want? Partial tracking? None. Oh, it's going to be GPS. I, I believe he's tracking so that, I mean, uh, if he is homeless, obviously, uh, 
uh, that he should be. I think the state's position is that this this particular McDonald's, this particular individual, was scared of, for her safety. And I don't know if you read in there, Judge, is that one of the times this happened, an officer was standing with this individual when it happened. Mm -hmm. And so that's the brazenness of that in front of an officer is uh, more concerning to the state. The also the Army. Can I uh, speak on that? Uh, I don't know. Does your attorney want you to speak on that? No, I don't. Okay. All right, it's a $1,500 fine. That'll be probated. Seven years deferred adjudication. There's to be GPS tracking. No contact with Trisha Robles. No contact with McDonald's at 101 Alamo Plaza. And you're not to be um, within... 800 feet of McDonald. I'm sorry, you all asked for 500 feet. I think it should be 800. Any objection to it being 800 instead of 500 feet? I, I, I wouldn't know where. No okay. Um, and you're not to be within 800 feet of the McDonald's at 101 Alamo Plaza or Trisha Roberts. I'm sorry, Trisha Robles. Uh, there's to be regular reporting by Zoom or in person, regular random UAs, proof of employment within 45 days of release, there's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. There's to be no unsupervised contact with minors. There's to be a TAP evaluation in custody. My understanding that's two weeks. Uh, follow TAP recommendations. Field visits one time per month for three months, and then at probation's discretion. Uh, probation, is there anything else he needs? Yes. All right, and then there's uh, 200 hours of community service restitution. That'll be waived if you are able to get a certificate or some type of um, education from a trade school or somewhere else. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? Uh, I believe I'm being released on uh, after monitor. Uh, you are going to be in custody for two weeks for a TAP evaluation. Anything else that you need to be successful on this probation? So I'm going to be put back in jail for two more weeks. Yes, you are. Anything else you need to be successful on this probation? Okay, so do I. I Sean, you what's entitled trial court certification of defendants' rights to appeal? Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. Because okay. this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Partially. All right, so what I, don't you understand? When I'm going to be released? Uh, what I told you is you're going to stay in custody mm -hmm. for the TAP evaluation. Once the TAP evaluation is done, if the TAP evaluation recommends that you go into inpatient treatment, you're going into inpatient treatment. If the TAP evaluation recommends that you be in outpatient treatment, then you will be released. Okay. And that could be up to you two weeks? It depends. Okay. All right. Thank you. Stay away from there. You understand? Yes, Court is calling 2024 CR 1174 State of Texas versus Albert A. Bishop. Can I have parties announced for the record, please? For the state. Jason Garrett. Defense. And McClare for Mr. Bishop. All right. And are you Mr. Bishop? Yes, ma'am. Did you review the document entitled Motion to Enter Adjudication of Guilt and Revoke Community Supervision with your attorney? Did you understand it? Uh, yes, ma'am. Are you the same Albert A. Bishop who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2024 CR 1174 for the offense of stalking 
on March 28, 2024 for a period of seven years. Is that you? Yes, ma'am. All right, State. Yes, sir. Advisory how do you plead to that? True or not true? True. Any objections to the state's waiver? No, no objection, Your Honor. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number four, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, and sentence you up to 10 years in the prison and up to $10,000 fine? Yes, sir. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? I believe so. Well, I mean, it's yes. not, I believe yes, so. Yes, ma'am. All right. So here's the thing. You may think you have an agreement with the state, but this motion to revoke is a contract with the court. So whatever you've agreed to with the state, I don't have to follow that. Do you uh, understand? Yes, ma'am. I told my, I told myself there now, the court. Listen to me. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? What else choice do I have? These are choices you need to make. So, do you, knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? If you would like, we could have a contested hearing. And what would end up happening is the state presumably would call witnesses they would probably call the probation officer to say that you did not report. And then I would make a decision on whether or not that probation officer is telling the truth or not. If I find that they're telling the truth, then I would find the violation true. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. So knowing all of that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? It's, uh, are you telling me you're trying to give me the whole 10 years? What I'm telling you is yes, that you have a choice to make. I just want to. I just want to get this over with. I don't right. Do you wish to plead true to violation yes, of condition number four? Yes, ma'am. All right. Court will find violation of condition number four. <clears throat> is there a proposed agreement? There is, Your Honor. There is. Yes. Yes. All right. Is that the proposed agreement? It's the proposed agreement, Your Honor. It is. All right. Are you waiving your right to appeal? Yes. You want to, can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God? Yes, ma'am. You can lower your hand, state your name for the record. Albert Anthony Bishop. All right. Why are you not reporting? I just, I just, uh, I didn't get the date. I'm homeless. I didn't get, I don't have really no excuses. I just didn't want to take the probation to begin with. I was going to take the time, really. Okay, here's the thing. That ship has sailed. Yes, ma'am. Let's not talk about ships that have sailed because guess what? They're not at the port. You can't catch it. Well, I'm not going to disrespect. I have no, All right, so we I have have no excuses to give you, ma'am. All right. So there are no excuses for your I'm not, not reporting. Gonna give, I'm not going to disrespect you by giving you no excuses. I appreciate that. All right. The court is going to find violation of condition number four true. The court is going to find you guilty or revoke. Sentence you to three years in the prison. Give you credit for any time served. There's to be no contact with McDonald's. So McDonald's is going to be off your list of eateries. Do you understand? Yes, and there's to be no contact with Trisha, T-R-I-S-H-A, Robles. Yes, Anything else with regards to sentencing from either side? Nothing further for the defense, Your Honor. Did you review the document entitled Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it and sign it? Yes, All right, because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Yes, ma'am. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. You need to make different decisions. Otherwise, guess what? As I told the last gentleman, Texas will find a prison that will accommodate you. I heard you did not, not in here. All right. Good luck to you. Yes, ma'am.